Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, I would request you, please subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 5000 subscribers. In addition to that, I also have a telegram group where you can just connect to me. If you are having any queries, questions or any doubts, you can just uh, ask there. I'm active on that. Plus, if you want any specific topic on which a video should be made, you can just put that topic also in that group and I will try to make a video on it. Okay. Okay. Coming to today's topic, so today we are going to make a resume for freshers, okay? So people who are in college fourth year or third year or like they are about to start uh, giving interviews for uh, jobs or people who are like uh, freshers or like just started doing job, they are like having one year experience, both of them can use this resume format, okay? And they can start like giving interviews, okay? So make sure to watch this video till end because I am going to... Uh, explain you every section uh, in, in like separate way Ki each section how it should be written what kind of contents you should write and in what format it should be written okay so everything should be explained in very detail so make sure to watch this video till end so that you can make your own customized resume which will make sure to get your uh, like uh, interview calls and all okay so in this video this is basically specifically for uh, freshers as well as people who are in college okay so next uh, 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 like after this video i'll be making a specific video for people who are experienced or people who are trying to transition okay so everything i'll be showing you from scratch you just need to make sure that you are watching the video till end so that you can make your own customized resume okay so with that being said let's get started okay team so as discussed we will be creating a freshest resume okay Okay, so before that, uh, this is the Telegram page. So if you want, you can just join. We we'll ha we have many to many so that everyone can send messages. Okay. Also, the new course that I'll be creating, which will be launched in mid of August. So the coupons for that course will be available in my Telegram group. So if you are uh, if you have already joined, then you will be getting those uh, uh, coupons as well. Okay. Okay. Coming back to the resume that I am talking about about freshers. Okay. Okay, so this is the one that I have created. I have just customized it uh, in like few minutes ago, actually. Okay, so let me explain you how the things, everything is written and how you should be focusing on writing it. Okay, first of all, in like just three lines, you can just put your name, your email ID. And if you look closely, this email ID is basically a clickable link, okay, which is directly opening in mail. Okay, so that is a good feature uh, if you are uh, adding it like that, okay plus uh, below that your phone number okay one more thing uh, you can do which is to add certain specific link like if you want you can add your github link okay or you can add your linkedin profile link okay so those those two things also you can add here that will be useful but to add uh, if it if you if you believe that your linkedin profile is good and in addition to that you if you believe your github profile is good and it is having good repositories then you can add it here okay Next thing that I would suggest for freshers, see many uh, people are saying that you should not uh, f focus on doing any certification as a fresher. Let me tell you very clearly what exactly is the situation in current market. Okay, So in MNCs or any product based companies even, they are making it mandatory now to do uh, at least one cloud certification. Okay, And for freshers or like for people who has who are like uh, like having just two or three years experience but have not done any certification so they are literally uh, it is this 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 thing has been made mandatory that you should do at least one cloud certification based on your uh, selection okay so if you are interested in aws you can go for a cloud practitioner which is the fundamental of aws if you are in azure like if you are interested in azure then you should go for this one azure fundamentals which is az900 okay as a fresher my suggestion uh, you should definitely do definitely do one cloud certification because at this point still like i keep saying that but i don't know how many people believe it but in reality after a certain years everything will be moved to cloud most of the organization they are already migrating their existing project to cloud servers okay so in my opinion focus on cloud also because it is very very important so having one certification at this point it's not mandatory you should do but in my suggestion if you want good opportunities in cloud based uh, like projects then you should definitely have at least one cloud certification okay and if you can see clearly what i have done i have clearly added my cloud certification uh, a certification badge here okay not only this makes it look good but also it's like very professional okay 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव प्रोफेशनल समरी सो हियर सी आई वुडेंट बी सजेस्टिंग कि यू शुड लाइट लाइक मल्टीपल लाइन्स और सो मैनी लाइन्स ओके बिकॉज इवन दी रिक्रूटर वॉन्ट बी रीडिंग एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोफेशनल समरी ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट राइट कि ओके सी फॉर ए फ्रेशर यू कैन राइट अ रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड इंजीनियर विथ हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस इन सपोर्टिंग ऑटोमेटिंग एंड ऑप्टोमाइजिंग डिप्लॉयमेंट्स इन मल्टीपल सर्वर एंड क्लाउड दे मे आस्क बेस्ड ऑन दिस फर्स्ट लाइन कि वी आर एग्जैक्टली लाइक यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस ऑन दिस थिंग्स यू कैन क्लियरली से कि ओके आई क्रिएटेड माई ओन क्यूबन एंड डिस्क क्लस्टर आई क्रिएटेड माई ओन एज यूर क्यूबन एंड डिस्क क्लस्टर ओपन शिफ्ट दोज थिंग्स आई सेट अप एंड आई डिप्लॉयड माई ओन अपलिकेशन ओके इन केस यू हैव डन फॉर सम वन एल्स दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन मैंशन ओके बट प्रोबेबली वट मैटर्स इज द फर्स्ट लाइन सेकेंड लाइन आई हैव जस्ट एडेड हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस ऑन लाइक बिल्डिंग डिप्लॉय एंड रिलेटेड डिवॉर्स प्रोसेस ओके ओके कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट एजुकेशन सो फॉर फ्रेशर्स बेसिकली इट इज़ मैंडेटरी और लाइक इट्स अ रूल सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग वे आर यू मैंशन यूर एजुकेशन पार्ट हियर ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टेक्निकल स्किल्स सो सिंस दीज आर ली बेसिकली दी स्किल्स दैट आई एम हैविंग एट दिस पॉइंट ओके एंड सी आई हैव जस्ट वन थिंग दैट यू शुड डेफिनेटली मेक श्योर कि यू आर एडिंग योर स्किल्स इन दिस फॉर्मेट इन दिस इन दिस फॉर्मेट वॉट आई मीन कि यू शुड एड योर स्किल्स इन टेबुलर फॉर्मेट बिकॉज first of all it makes it look good plus it is easy to see okay so if recruiter is there uh, they want to ask questions from this uh, specific uh, like skill sets they can easily see okay artifact management tool i can ask from nexus or azure artifacts okay so these are basically my skills if you want i can just uh, share you share with you as well okay so in this format technical skill should be um, uh, written but actually since since i am experienced and i have like multiple lines of uh, like multiple pages of resume so i did not put in this format okay i actually put in the same uh, same line okay but since it's a fresher and usually freshers have just one page resume so to uh, to make it like easier i just made like two blocks okay then we have project section so as of now what i have done i have added just three projects based on your requirement what you can do you can like uh, add multiple projects as well but uh, it might go like of, of from more than one page okay but uh, if you are having like so many projects you have worked on and you really want to show that then it's not an big issue that if your resume is two pages okay so for now i just what i did for example first project i have mentioned portfolio website tools and technology used so these things i mentioned ki i have used okay then in responsibilities i have mentioned what exactly i did or how exactly i built and deployed okay so you can see i have written source code written in java code built and packaged using maven then using docker file created a docker image then then deployed in kubernetes okay second i have written similar kind of things but this is a like a azure based project okay which you can specifically mention in bold here in brackets okay i have not done but i would suggest you to do so that the recruiter knows ki this guy this person is actually experienced in azure also uh, sorry specific cloud also okay for me it's azure so uh, i just speak azure all the time okay so you can mention in block letters okay bold letters okay then you can see like i have mentioned the process how i deployed okay and then third project this is also like anything you want if you have you can just mention it okay see this section this project section uh, for my is actually i prefer like keeping things in tabular form because it makes it much easier to see okay like that i can just uh, uh, write it or like make it look uh, better okay so for, for, i believe to keep things in this tabular format because uh, it, it like it just makes it easier to understand okay for recruiter also okay so in this basically in this uh, project section what you can do you can based on your like uh, uh, like whatever is requirement it's not mandatory ki here you should mention everything in tabular format but uh, in my opinion i would go with tabular format okay so you can say i have written next we have certification so i have just written this one but in addition to certifications you can also add here certifications and awards okay so obviously if you are in college or if you are a fresher you might have like uh, like gained something at college or something even if you did not get something i would suggest write something good ki okay i was this for college and i was doing this for college for example i in the, as a fresher i used to write ki okay i used to do this for college i maintained this i managed this like that because it creates a, a positive a positive image of yourself ki uh, this guy was working in college as well as he was handling these things also side by side okay so in this format you can mention so yeah this is pretty much and if you want this uh, word for document format format this document uh, 
I I would definitely share but I would request you to get me at least 70 likes on the video once we reach 70 likes it will be uploaded and you can get it for free okay rest if you want you can just start making it by yourself that is also not so hard because because I did it so I believe you can also do okay so that's pretty much for freshers video and uh, next video will be for uh, resume for experienced okay but that video might be little long because uh, we have like more and more things to mention in our project okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day